Charles Coburn, a key figure in classic Hollywood, made a lasting impact on the film industry. Whether it's a particular moment from his body of work that stands out to you or the first time you recognized him, his influence is undeniable. Share your favorite memories or personal experiences related to this well-known actor in the comments below. As we explore Charles Coburn's life, get ready for a journey filled with amusing, surprising, and touching facts. Keep watching to uncover the layers of this Hollywood actor. Your anecdotes and insights add depth to the narrative, so feel free to join the conversation. Share your thoughts and let's celebrate together the actor and the joy he brought to audiences. A pivotal figure in the golden age of Hollywood, Charles Coburn left a lasting impression on the film industry. His influence is felt through his work on and off screen, shaping classic cinema and leaving a mark that continues to affect Hollywood. His skills as an actor were evident in his ability to seamlessly switch between comedic and dramatic roles. Whether delivering a clever line or portraying a character with depth, his presence elevated the overall quality of the productions. Beyond acting, Coburn played a crucial role in shaping Hollywood dynamics. Collaborating with directors and actors contributed to a collaborative film community. His work ethic set a standard for professionalism, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Coburn's influence extends beyond his era, resonating through generations of filmmakers and performers. The timeless appeal of his films ensures new audiences discover and appreciate his work, solidifying his place as a cinematic icon. In conclusion, Charles Coburn's significant contributions to classic Hollywood, both as an actor and a key industry figure, have left a lasting legacy. His ability to navigate diverse roles and impact the collaborative spirit of Hollywood solidifies his position as a trailblazer in cinema. Charles Coburn, an experienced actor with a career dating back to his Broadway debut in Up York State in 91, displayed great versatility in the entertainment world. His journey to Hollywood took an unexpected turn when an unsuccessful audition for the role of Judge Hardy led to a significant break. Director Clarence Brown noticed his talent and cast him in the film of Human Hearts in 1938. Notably, Coburn's influence extended beyond the silver screen. As a member of the White Citizens Council, he played a role in societal dynamics, adding a layer to his persona. This aspect of his life, though separate from his acting career, adds depth to understanding the man behind the roles. In the golden age of Hollywood, his impact wasn't solely confined to his acting prowess. Collaborating seamlessly with directors and fellow actors, he contributed to the development of a collaborative film community. His work ethic set a standard for professionalism, shaping the industry and leaving a lasting mark. Coburn's ability to effortlessly switch between comedic and dramatic roles made him a standout figure. Whether delivering a clever line or portraying a character with depth, his presence elevated the overall quality of productions. His films, timeless in appeal, continue to attract new audiences, ensuring that his influence as a cinematic icon endures. In conclusion, from Broadway to Hollywood, his unexpected break and his impact on and off the screen showcase an individual who significantly contributed to shaping classic cinema and Hollywood dynamics. His influence remains echoing through generations of filmmakers and performers. In his final on-screen appearance, Charles Coburn featured in a 1960 episode of The Best of the Post titled Six Months More to Live. Ironically, he had 17 months left to live after that. The brevity of time adds a poignant layer to his last contribution to the entertainment world. In a candid interview with local news reporters, he shared the humble beginnings of his movie career. Standing on the corner of Broughton Street in downtown Savannah, Georgia, he distributed playbills for the two downtown theaters. This grassroots start paved the way for a career that would shape classic Hollywood. The University of Georgia honored him on January 30, 1956, with a special celebration, recognizing him as a distinguished native Georgian. His connection to the university is preserved in its archived library, housing his correspondence and memorabilia. This acknowledgement by his home state underscores his influence on both the cinematic world and the community he hailed from. From Broadway in 1901 to Hollywood, he showcased enduring influence. Beyond acting, his involvement in societal dynamics as a member of the White Citizens Council adds complexity to his persona. This dual role, both on and off the screen, showcases a man who navigated various facets of life in the golden age of Hollywood. 
His collaboration with directors and fellow actors not only elevated production quality, but also contributed to the development of a collaborative film community. Coburn set a standard for professionalism that left an impression on the industry. His ability to seamlessly switch between comedic and dramatic roles made him a standout figure, leaving a lasting effect that echoes through generations of filmmakers and performers. The timeless appeal of his films ensures a continued discovery and appreciation of his work by new audiences. His influence as a cinematic icon endures, transcending the boundaries of his era, and his unexpected journey from Broadway to Hollywood remains a captivating chapter in classic cinema history. Charles Coburn, a prominent figure in Hollywood, always carried a stack of pre-signed autograph cards to fulfill fan requests, showcasing his genuine appreciation for those who admired his work. Notably, he resided on Hollywood Boulevard, making him one of the few actors to call the famous street home. This choice reflected a unique connection to the heart of the entertainment industry, where he not only worked, but also lived. In a surprising turn, Coburn, known for his on-screen charm, had specific instructions for his final farewell. He directed his executor to avoid a public funeral or burial, choosing cremation instead. His ashes were to be mixed and scattered alongside those of his late wife, a poignant reminder of a lasting companionship that stood the test of time. This unconventional choice added another layer to the man behind the roles. Coburn's desire for a private farewell mirrored his humble beginnings in the entertainment world. From distributing playbills on a street corner in Savannah, Georgia, to becoming a Hollywood figure, his journey was marked by authenticity and simplicity. In his final on-screen appearance in the 1960 episode of The Best of the Post, titled Six Months More to Live, he shared the modest beginnings of his movie career in a candid interview. This grassroots start on Broughton Street in downtown Savannah laid the foundation for a career that left a lasting impression on classic Hollywood. Beyond his cinematic contributions, he received recognition from the University of Georgia in 1956, acknowledging him as a distinguished native Georgian. This honor highlighted his influence not only in the cinematic world, but also in the community he hailed from, emphasizing that his impact went beyond his chosen profession. Charles Coburn, a man of simplicity and depth, seamlessly switched between comedic and dramatic roles, leaving a lasting impression on Hollywood. His willingness to connect with fans through autographs and his unconventional approach to his final farewell added a human touch to his cinematic legacy. In the world of Hollywood figures, he stands as someone whose influence continues to be felt through the years. Born in Macon, Georgia, Charles Coburn often surprised people with his English-like demeanor. Despite his southern roots, he exuded an air that led many to believe he hailed from across the Atlantic. In Piper Laurie's memoirs, Learning to Love Out Loud, an unexpected facet of his personality is revealed. Laurie notes his peculiar habit of playfully pinching women's bottoms, a behavior akin to a tick. While these actions may have raised eyebrows, no one ever pursued reports of inappropriate behavior, perhaps reflecting the different norms of the time. During the late 1930s and early 1940s, he spent eight months a year in Hollywood, dedicating his summers to New York, a city he considered home. However, in 1946, he made a permanent move to Hollywood, marking a significant shift in his career trajectory. His journey from Broadway in 1901 to Hollywood showcased versatility. An unexpected break in 1938, when director Clarence Brown recognized his talent, led to a prolific film career. Beyond the silver screen, his involvement in societal dynamics, notably as a member of the White Citizens Council, added depth to his persona. In his final on-screen appearance in a 1960 episode of The Best of the Post, titled Six Months More to Live, he shared the humble beginnings of his movie career. From distributing playbills on a street corner in Savannah, Georgia, he rose to become a Hollywood figure, leaving a lasting mark on classic cinema. His connection to the University of Georgia, where he was honored in 1956, highlighted his roots as a distinguished native Georgian. Preserved in the university's archived library are his correspondence and memorabilia, underscoring his influence on both the cinematic world and the community he called home. A man of simplicity and depth, his willingness to connect with fans through pre-signed autograph cards showcased genuine appreciation. Residing on Hollywood Boulevard, he chose a unique connection to the heart of the entertainment industry, both working and living on the famous street. In an unconventional turn, he directed his executor to avoid a public funeral or burial, opting for cremation. 
His ashes were mixed with those of his late wife, symbolizing a lasting companionship. This unconventional farewell mirrored his humble beginnings and added another layer to the man behind the roles. From pinching women's bottoms to his unexpected journey from Georgia to Hollywood, his life was a fascinating story woven with simplicity, depth, and unexpected twists, leaving a lasting impact on classic cinema and Hollywood dynamics.